You wanted to see me, sir? Ah, Hephaestion. Yes, uh, about the wedding ceremony. You've read what your part in it is to be? Yes. Uh, well, there's a wedding banquet afterwards, and I shall expect you to attend. Very well. And uh, Hephaestion, I shall expect you to sit at my right hand. I see. Thank you. Is that all? No. I see I must humble myself. Will you forgive me, Hephaestion? There is nothing to forgive. Oh, in the name of the gods. What do you want me to do? Rend my clothes, pour dust on my head, roll on the ground at your feet? I will if you like. The truth is... The truth is I am not as invincible as I believed. You've won. I admit defeat. And I would like to salute my conqueror. Sit down. No, up here. Parmenian is dead. I heard this morning. Philotus was executed a month ago. Yes, I had heard that. I know what you must be feeling about me at this moment. Not about you, Alexander. For you, that's all. Thank you. I've needed you, you know, these last few weeks. I'm sorry. Ptolemy and Clytus can't help much with this kind of burden. But I am not a murderer. Will you believe that? Yes. Have some wine. No, thank you. Come, everybody must get drunk on my wedding night. Clytus! is ready, sir. She wants to show herself to her loving spouse-to-be. May she come in? Yes. Let us inspect Her Majesty. Her Majesty? Is she not going to be that, is she? Just for the ceremony. Oh, I see. I was going to say, a person that would never do it. <laughs> All right, my girl, you can come in now. Ah. Your loving husband salutes you. I admire your face and figure almost as much as I do your dowry. A dowry? Yes, 30,000 lives and six months campaigning. I'd call that valuable enough, wouldn't you? I certainly would. And if you brought me six months nearer home, my dear, I salute you too. <laughs> I must have some more wine. It's a very complicated ceremony, you know. I haven't learned my part just as I should. I only wish the Queen Mother was here to help me. Dear Mother, how I long to see her again. Why do you call her your mother, Alexander? Your mother is a Macedonian. The Queen Mother of Persia is my mother, Clytus, just as she is your queen. My queen? Oh, Olympus of Macedon is my queen, not a wretched Persian. Clytus, Clytus, come here. I meant no disrespect, sir, you know that. But all this bowing and scraping and kneeling to barbarians, it makes me sick. What's the matter with the old man tonight, apart from wine? I'm afraid I told him about your intention to form a corps of Persian companions for the Indian expedition. Ah, so that's what it is, eh? Ah, I heard you. Persian companions. What do we fight this war for, anyhow? That's what I want to know. Persian companions. I suppose they'll be giving them Greek slaves to curl their beards next. Oh, Clytus, come. Well, I won't be having Indian companions before we know. Hephaestion, what do you think of my choice of bride? Very good. Mm. You're carrying her crown in the procession, aren't you? No, no. No, it's your crown I'm carrying. Oh, yes, of course. Well, who's carrying hers? Clytus, is it you? What's that? Are you carrying Roxana's crown in the procession? <laughs> That's right. I've got it all pat. I walk in front of her all the way, carrying her crown on a cushion high in the air. <laughs> My arms will drop off with all that. And when I get to the platform, I step aside, let her go up the steps and sit down. Then I go up and I put the crown on her head. <laughs> Correct, sir? Correct, sir, for one thing. You've forgotten your basins. Your basins? What's that? You're to kneel down in front of the throne, 
Put your head on the ground. Oh, good heavens, man, you've seen it done often enough. I've seen it done often enough, but I'm not going to do it. Oh, you must. <laughs> what a person, not on your life. Oh, Titus, don't be a fool. Fool, I may be, but I'm not chewing any dirt in front of any little barbarian. Like us have a care. You volunteered for the duty. Oh, I did, but I wouldn't have done if I was going to be all this mumbo-jumbo. The mumbo-jumbo, as you call it, is very important. The great king of Persia is taking a wife. And the ceremony must be carried out according to the rites and usages of his Persian ancestors. His Persian ancestors? Holy gods above that I should live to hear the son of Philip use such words. Get him out of here. Come on, I just come on. Persian ancestors. It's a pity your Persian ancestors didn't win the Battle of Marathon, no, isn't it? Us, no. <laughs> then they might have saved us all this fighting we've been doing these last eight years. Oh, stop it, Titus. For heaven's sake, the king didn't mean that. I know what the king meant. He meant he's forgotten he's the Captain General of Greece. Oh, <laughs> and this is the man who talks about barbarians. I tell you, this girl here is a hundred times more civilized than he is. Oh, let me take his part in the ceremony and he can take mine. All right. But get him out of here now. All right, I'll go, great king and master of the world, and I'll carry your crown for you this evening. I'll not kneel in the mud in front of you either. I'm a freeborn Macedonian. I'd sooner die. That may not be so difficult to arrange. Oh, yes. I don't doubt you could have me murdered as you had Parmenian. <laughs> If you don't like the truth, you shouldn't ask Macedonians to drink with you. You should stick to your person slaves. Take him out or I'll kill him. And God knows if isn't alive to see the shame oh, of his son. I mean, no, unlike his son, Philip at least was a man. All right, we go. You quite as I say. Alexander, it's just that I'm rather drunk. You shouldn't have thought that I... <laughs> this has happened before, the wedding banquet. I've killed my father. He might be with his sword. He tried to kill me and I killed him. You were there, Hephaestion. You saw it. I killed my father. I must die. you're back. Why are you breaking camp? India. India? But that wasn't to be for another six weeks. We move at first light. But it's far too early in the year to cross those mountains. Even the foothills will still be snowed up. We must hope that the gods are kind. Well, what's made him change his mind like this? Clytus? You heard about that? Yes. Well, it had a bad effect on the army. Was Alexander going to move off without me then? Yes. You're three days late. But it's not our fault. You should see what the rivers are like. Ah. And uh, what's going to happen to the Queen Mother? Are we going to leave her in this place? Alexandria, the end of the world, or whatever it's called? She's to follow the march to India. God's above. She'll never survive that. I've told him so. 